So let's begin our course. Uh, what we are going to do first thing is we should find a source where we can get all our weather information. Of course, you cannot have uh, your own data from around the world because you need the proper uh, professional weather stations. And there are a lot of third party uh, websites that provide API with the weather data, uh, which you can access uh, through their API and you can use the information you receive from these uh, APIs and you can display on uh, them on your application. So one of them we are going to use, you can Google them which ones are good, but uh, I have chosen this uh, weatherbit.io. The main reason I choose this one is because the free package they provide has all the information, all the functionality our application requires. So there is no point of paying uh, other sources for our course uh, purposes. But if you are going to build a professional application and uh, really end up on uh, App Store, you may want to look on the paid uh, options as well because uh, all the free versions, they may be good, but uh, there are always limitations when it comes for free packages. So make sure uh, you register with uh, Weatherbit.io because in order to use them, you need the API key. And once you create your account, um, you can log in. I'm going to show you mine here. So once you log in, you will be able to see your API key, which we will, uh, we will need this API key in order to receive our uh, weather information. All right, uh, so make sure you register. It may take five to 10 minutes until you uh, receive an email confirmation so you can access it. Uh, before this happens, what we can do is uh, we are going to talk about a Cocoa Pods a little bit. So if you don't know what Cocoa Pods is, uh, you can go to cocoapods.org website and it explains you what Cocoa Pods is, which is uh, helping to manage the dependencies on third party projects and uh, sources of our codes. Basically, you just uh, go to your GitHub and uh, you find the library that you want to use and uh, using the CocoaPods is just the easiest way to receive all these libraries to attach to your project. So in, if you don't have a CocoaPods installed on your machine already, what you need to do to install it is uh, very simple. You can search for uh, terminal. So in your terminal, what you want to do is copy and paste sudo gem install CocoaPods and hit enter. I'm not going to do it because I, my computer already has CocoaPods. Once you hit enter, actually let me show you, it will ask you for your uh, computer password because you are using a sudo command. It will ask you for password. And when you type your password, you won't see anything because it's hidden, but when you hit enter, it should recognize your password. So once you install the CocoaPods, I will close my terminal here. We will be able to use the CocoaPods in order to install the third party libraries into our project. And uh, talking about third party libraries, we are going to use two of them. So if you uh, go to navigate to GitHub and then search for Alamo Fire, uh, we are going to use Alamo Fire to connect to our API server and receive the information from it. You can read about it, what it can do uh, here. And the second uh, third party library we are going to use is Swifty JSON. And if you actually go to our CocoaPods website here and uh, get started, it shows you how to use and see one of the examples here is the Swifty JSON because it's quite popular library. So make sure uh, you check out the Swifty JSON and uh, also Alamo Fire. So you can see what, uh, what each library can do. We are going to use very basic functionality of these libraries just to help us uh, make our code a bit shorter. All right, uh, once you have ready the CocoaPods installed and you have registered uh, with uh, Weatherbit.io and you have your API key, we can move forward with our next lecture and we can uh, create our Xcode project.